Hello YouTube. I uh, wanted to do a quick video today. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, I just went through a few uh, videos that I found online um, and big kudos out to uh, Chris O for his uh, his tutorials on Bash Script. Um, they're really good. You should check them out. Um, but I went through these videos because there was there was something there was a shell script that I wanted um, to write and I, I did actually, I did get it written, and I'm, I'm very excited. It's working pretty well. Let me show it to you real quick, because like I said, I'm all excited. And I know this, this might look a little daunting to, especially my fellow noobs. Um, it looks really complicated, but it's really not that bad, okay? Um, like I said, I, I went through videos, and I just, you know, I, I got the information that I needed, and it's just a matter of, of, of kind of tweaking it and making, making that information work for you, which is what all this is. And again, it looks complicated but it's it's not really as bad as it looks okay so don't don't get freaked out about it what I'll do in a, in a future video is I will actually go through this entire script what it does is this will actually create a little pop-up down here for me um, with information basically the information I pull off of my uh, my channel on YouTube to give me an update as to what my total views are that's all this does but it's 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 really cool because what I've been doing is I've been going back and you know and, and having to log in and, and check all the time um, and I can run that and like I said it'll create a little pop up up here a little notification um, every and I've got I've got this set for 10, 10 minutes every ten minutes it'll pop up and give me an update which is very very cool but I'm I'm extremely excited about it so I thought I would do a a video and I kind of mentioned this in previous videos that I would I would start. Um, sharing the information that I get on shell scripting. And that's what we're going to start today. So today we're going to start with um, a couple commands that are that are what I, I consider to be kind of your meat and potatoes. They're, they're basically the, your building blocks, what you need to start off with. Um, you need to know these. And I'm going to cover echo, I'm going to cover variables, and I'm going to cover the read command. Okay? Um, that's what I'm going to do today because with these three these three commands, I mean these these three different topics, um, you're, there's a lot you're going to be able to do. Okay, so let's let's start off with that. Let's start with echo. Echo is spelled E C H O. Not that this is a spelling lesson or anything, but um, what the echo command does is it regurgitates information. And I know that sounds pretty sick and gross, but um, that's really what it does. It'll spit out whatever you tell it to spit out, wherever you tell it to spit it out to. So if, as an example, and the easiest way for me to do a lot of this is really just to show you so you can see how it works. So if I type in echo, and I want to do something like send out a message. I just want to send a message to have it print on the screen and have it say hello. If I type out echo and I, put, and I type hello, hit enter, there, that's what it does. You can see what it does. It spit it out right here exactly the way I have it typed within the quotes here okay now before we get too far ahead these quotes there are double quotes there are single quotes and there are accents and they all three kind of behave a little differently and we'll kind of cover some of that here in a minute okay but for now let, let's talk about this echo command so that that's what it does it'll spit it out what's great about this command also is that it will actually you can direct it where to put information Okay, um, and as an example, let me do an ls real quick. See what's in here. Okay, I've got nothing. I've got no text files in here. So let's let's make a a text file. Okay, um, the command to do that is touch. If you didn't know that, and I didn't plan on really covering that, but this is this is one way to create a file. Okay, you can you can use the word touch. Um, touch, and I'm going to create test dot txt. Okay. So I'm going to create that file. If I do another ls, which is a list, and I look in here, there it is. Now if we go into it with nano, it's a text. It's a text file, so a text editor works, right? I'll do test.txt. And we'll open it up, and you'll see that there's nothing in here. Okay? It's completely blank. All right. Now, let's clear this out. Now that we know what we're working with. Okay. Now let's say I want to do that same hello or yeah there's the hello but let's say I don't want it to print it on the screen I want to put it into that file as an input or as as data okay the, the way you do that and there's there's 
two ways really to do it. You can either overwrite the existing information or you can add on information. And both have their uses, definitely. Both have their uses. So I'm going to cover both. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to just write it to the file. So I'm going to use a single um, greater than sign. Okay. What that single greater than sign is the, it's, that's the overwrite um, command. Um, or character def uh, that defines an, an overwriting of what's already there. So you have to kind of be careful with this because if you're trying to add information to an existing file and you don't put that second um, greater than sign um, and you only use a single, it will actually wipe out everything else in that file and only have in there what you're telling it to put in there. So just make sure, and I'm going to cover it here in a minute when I, when I show you how to use the double, okay? Um, but the single, but let's say I want to type, I want to put hello into that test file. So I'm going to type in test txt because that was the name of our file. But you see the syntax here. And syntax is a big word, you know, for some. I know that, that kind of makes you cringe a little bit for those um, individuals, like many people that I know, that aren't, like, overly comfortable with computer language. Let me, let me back up and, and just say syntax just means how it's written, how it's used. Okay, um, that's that's basically what that word means. All right, so how how you have to write this command out? Echo, and then whatever it is that the information that you want to you're you're going to be working with. Um, this again um, will overwrite into an existing file. Okay, so it will put that information in that file, and that's all that will be in that file. Okay, so if I hit enter, and then we nano back over to it. Oops, right there. We nano back over to it. You look in here now, and there it is. Hello. And you'll notice that is all that is in here. There's nothing else in here. Of course, it was blank before, but what you're going to find out on the next one here, and let me show you this. Um, so you see how that one worked, okay? Echo, whatever your information is, the single um, greater than sign, and then the file you want to put it into, okay? Um, and again, what that will do is that will overwrite anything else that was in there and I'll I'll actually show that to you more here in a second okay we'll I'll, I'll kind of I'll kind of we'll do it again so you can see that information is actually being taken out okay um, but we need more information in there how do you do that well you you kind of do the same thing you'll echo but let's say you want to do you know let's let's call this the second input but if I use the single, like we said, if I use the single greater than sign, it's going to overwrite that hello that's already in there. And maybe I should just show you that real quick. Test txt. Oops, how about txt? Okay. Now that I've, I've done that, again, you see that that is the single um, greater than sign. Um, if we open it up, the hello is gone. Because the, the one that we just put in there, the command we just sent, over wrote it okay that's what I'm talking about um, it will it will erase what's in here so that's why you have to be careful with it now there are definitely times you want to use that more often than not you're probably going to append okay so what I want to do again is I want to show you how to append but it's just because I'm kind of OCD about some things I want first input to be at the top okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit enter and again I use the single um, greater than sign. We look in there. There, first input at the top. Okay. Just like we did before. Now, let's say I want to I want to append it. Okay. I want to add information to it. Okay. And we're going to call this the second input. But what you do here, instead of overwriting it, you want to add to it. So what you'll do is you'll use a second greater than sign. So you use two to add on to it. Which, I mean, even visually, if you look at that, one, okay, that's going to write information to it. Two is, you know, you can actually see you, you've added a second greater than sign. So that, that should be kind of a visual cue to tell you that you're adding on to, okay? Because now you, you've got not just one, but you've got an added second one, okay? Hopefully that helps. Um, but if we hit enter here and we go in and we look at it, now you can see 
first, the, the very first one we put in is still there, and then it added that second input. Okay? It appended it. It added to it. It didn't override it. It just added to it. Okay? So we can actually go out and we can do it again. You know, we'll call this the third input. And I'll hit enter. Now we go back in here and we should see the third one. So you can see how it just adds another line as it goes in. It keeps adding inputs. As long as you use that double greater than sign, that's what it's going to do. It's always going to add more. Okay? Now, like I said a little while ago, I was going to show you what happens, because you just saw that. We now have three inputs in there. Now, if, if I do something like this, and I take one of these out, and I'm sure you're already following what that will do. Um, that is going to erase input. Okay? Which, like I said, anything in your, whatever you're putting in there can be anything. Okay, I'm just putting this in here because it's kind of showing you what it's doing. Um, so I'm going to hit enter, and now if we open it up, now we don't have first input, second input, third input. We don't have any of those. The only thing that's left in this file is what we just sent to it. Okay, that's another reason why I wanted to show you that because it is it's it's important. Like I said in other videos, the terminal is not forgiving. You have to be careful when you're using it. Okay, because there's there's things that can really really wreck you know files and even you know because we went through uh, in, in some of my other videos we went through the DD command that could wreck your entire drive so you just have to be careful with it uh, don't be afraid of it just be be cautious you know double check yourself anyway so that is that all right so now we've covered we've covered echo and I think you, you understand what the function of echo is it prints information okay.